Welcome to Quarantine Circular. This is a short experimental adventure game. It's the second in, I guess, what you could call the circular series of games. The first one was Subsurface Circular, which I played a little while ago and really enjoyed. It was pretty fantastic. It's a nice spin on the text adventure genre. Let's jump into it. Uh, I've played for all of maybe 10 seconds just to make sure the audio levels were reasonable. So basically haven't played. Let's begin a new game. Examination, 1800 hours, Mark Perez, that'd be my name. Uh, okay, hold on. I think we've paused. Yeah, we've paused. I just want to stop for a second and say that intro was super cool. Aside from just looking nice and sounding really cool and uh, this nice synthy vibe to it, I love what they did with, well, they did, they did two major things that I want to pinpoint. So this is called Quarantine Circular, emphasis on quarantine, and I think the story blurb that I saw on the store page for it said something about this being set in or after like an epidemic of some sort. So something involving quarantine and an epidemic. And what we're seeing in that intro is a bunch of like microbes and stuff. Obviously the virus or whatever it is, the organism that killed a bunch of people. But the second cool thing about the intro is that it wasn't taking place inside of a body or something like something like that, I think. It was more like microbes and cells and whatever those things were, were like planets and asteroids and stuff. Right? Like that microbe was like, like slingshotting around planets of cells or whatever those were. It was super cool. Okay. Um, new objective set up translation for unknown entity. Unknown entity. Mr. Chat onboard AI. Dubrovnik event in progress. Stay vigilant. Check your colleague's suit seals. Activating translation matrix. Populating language database. 5,239 languages loaded. 37 languages fail to load. Airlog sent to central server. Have a great chat. I think we're about to speak with an alien. I'm guessing they've been quarantined. Sam told me the language load error got patched. Sam was misinformed. Or lying. Is Sam trustworthy? Maybe you should file a report if you have your doubts. You're an onboard AI. Should you really be sowing that sort of team discord? I'm just here to help. Have a great chat. <laughs> have a great have a great chat with the alien. Uh help me out again. What's my assigned task here? You've been assigned to set up communication with a recovered 
Apologies, syntax error. I don't know who it is you're assigned to set up communication with. The notes say non-human. I do not understand. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's the big angry thing stood up there, Mr. Chat. That seems likely. Although, as an onboard support AI, I cannot see the big thing. As a low-level AI, I am also ill-equipped to tell you about its mood. Damn, it is big. That's a big boy. I mean, I don't know about, about it being mad, though. It's definitely big. It's big. Easy to find, then. Hop to it, engineer. Establishing external communication. I suggest adopting, adopting a polite tone. Don't let the enormity of first contact overwhelm you. And probably no need to mention the perilous situation humanity is currently in. Okay, uh... They've been given the name Gabriel. Probably not their real name, just a made-up one, I guess. Just so we have something to call it. Do we have any notes? Ooh. Mark Perez. Uh, hey, Mark. Ramesh here. I know your schedule's pretty packed today, but I gotta put you on one last thing. It's an easy job, but still too tough for Sam. Sam sucks, by the way. Don't know if you've noticed. He's off this boat the first opportunity I get. Job's a standard Rosetta setup. Walk in, exchange names, find common ground, you know the drill. Nobody told me who you're hooking up. Looks like it's a, a senior thing. Maybe a visiting dignitary? Might be a terrorist? No reports of terrorists in this area, but you never know. Hook him up. First pints on me when you get back. Wait, hook him up? Hook him up with what? What exactly am I doing? I've apparently done this all the time, and I don't think this is talk with aliens. I mean, Mr. Chat wasn't even programmed to understand what a non-human was. So what do I normally do with humans? I mean, does it just act as a translator? Uh, hello? Unintelligible. Looks like you're trying to translate a new language. Can I help? Um, I may need that, yes. Of course. Okay. First step. Names. That's logical. Clearly state your name to the other party. Hi, I'm Mark. Mark? Sure. Mark. Gabriel. Oh, so your name is actually Gabriel. How did we know it before you said it, though? Oh, the translator substitutes whatever your name is for something I can understand. <laughs> okay. Wait, does that make any... Okay, so it pre-generated the name of the entity and then just kind of backfilled it in when they told me their actual name? Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Mark. Yes. Great job, Mark. Um... I can take it from here. Deactivate Mr. Chat. I don't know if I can take it from here, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, so I can get him to come back in at any time. Um... Biology, Mathematics, or Colors? Uh, let's do, let's do colors. There's a lot of vibrant colors here. Uh, your skin is blue? I don't know if that's their skin, actually. Well, I guess, uh, I guess their head is skin or some sort of exoskeleton. I don't know. Uh, um, your skin is blue. 
Mark? Um, mathematics. That always works in films. Pi equals 3.141592653599. Mark? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Biology? Um, I have two arms and two legs. We are the same. We are. Two arms, two legs. That's right. Limited vocabulary, but we're getting there. Limited. Very limited. Translators trying to predict language. Say something else. You understand? Mark understands? I do. I can understand you. Your speech should get better as we talk, but it should do so exponentially. Some groovy music. Trust in Mark halfway? Okay. Um, objective complete, set of translation. Um, help me. I'm just here to set up the translator. Okay, yeah, so that actually that is what this person does. They just... By, by hook them up in that message, they just meant hook people up with a translation unit or something. You need my help? Trust in me just went up. I do. Look at their mouth move. Interesting. I like their glowing purple eyes. I am here against my will. I have been captured and detained. I assume my captors will be back shortly. I need your help. I need you to remove this restraint. Wait, is this, um... Captured and detained, is that something we've done? As part of the, the quarantine, or whatever we set up here, or is that something someone else did? Restraint? Uh, wait, what restraint? This, on my neck, with the flashing light. It shocks me if I leave this circle. Oh. Quarantine circle. The circle? You mean the hella bad markings? The red circle at my feet. If I leave it, I'm stunned. I wake up shortly after, having been dragged back here into the middle. Damn. I'm sorry. It is good that you say so. I need you to deactivate it. The human who set it up used a wrist device, a remote control of some kind. Please. Hmm, yeah, this definitely is not my job. Right, I'm just someone who sets up translation stuff. I'm not, like, anyone who has the authority to do anything like that here. Not that that's going to stop me, of course. I just think it's interesting that I'm probably about to go very, very far out of my purview, and I wonder if anybody's going to stop me. Is anybody monitoring me other than the chat bot thing? Um... I've made a decision. Ooh, onboard AI reactivated. Possible security risk detected. Yeah, it's gonna stop me, isn't it? Mark, this is definitely above your pay grade. Don't make this decision lightly. Hmm. I mean, this is incredibly irresponsible, but I'm gonna de <laughs> deactivate it. They seem nice. Thank you, Mark. I can't believe they locked you up before even talking to you. Hmm. 
It was a logical choice, however cruel. You have shown me kindness by your words and your actions. Thank you. How are you speaking my language? I'm actually speaking Spanish. The translator is working in real time. Why would you have such a tool? Our crew is multinational. This helps us work together. And what is your work, precisely? Uh, I'm just an engineer. Uh, I set the translations. And to be honest, most of that's automated thanks to Mr. Chat. Mr. Chad, always nice to have my work acknowledged, especially during these dark times. Your onboard AI, Mr. Chad, it seems ill-advised to keep an intelligent being in such bondage. It appears we will not be alone for much longer. Uh, I don't have any more questions? have one. Mark, is the translator's speed appropriate for you? Would you like it changed at all? It's fine. Done. You can, of course, change your settings from the main menu at any time. Job complete. Deactivating you. Or de deactivating you. <laughs> you were deactivated. Deactivating. See you at the start of the next job. Before they get here, thank you for showing me respect, Mark. Hopefully your superiors will be equally understanding. I will keep the status of my restraint secret. Nobody will know that you helped me. Yeah. It's the least I could do. Someone waiting to take over right there. Tang Lei. Uh, security officer, is it done? I'm sorry? Don't be sorry. Be done. The translation. Is the translation set up and ready to go? Can it talk? You. Hmm. Stall or just outright lie? Say I must be present to mediate. Without my real-time input and filtering, you won't understand a thing. Or stall. Or just tell the truth. I want to be here. This person is obviously an asshole. And is probably the one responsible for treating them so poorly to begin with. Uh, I can, but I must be present to mediate. Without my real-time input and filtering, you won't understand a thing. Are you lying to me, engineer? You. <laughs> Why does Gabriel keep saying you? Maybe like you, like, oh, you're the one. The one who put me here. The one who restrained me. Lie. Of course not. There are algorithms, parallel processes, com complex things to observe. Fiddly stuff. I won't bore you with the details. I think they're gonna see through my bullshit. Oh, please bore me. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Mm. It's important to test the preloaded assets, ensure that no corruption has impinged the foundational saved instances. I see. A crash could occur at any time uh, through any array of, of glitches and bad data. G-I-G-O, as they say. You wasted enough of my time, Mr. Perez. You may stay for now. You could still prove useful. The Admiral will be here shortly. If you test my patience further, you will be dismissed. You. Why does it keep saying that? Some kind of error. 
there is no error beyond the one you already made. I don't know what you mean. I think you do. What did you do, officer? I told you not to test my patience, engineer. Unless you want to be dismissed immediately, I suggest heeding that advice. This is Sedic. Are we done? Has everyone finished shouting at each other? I'm not shouting, I am... Oh, I know what you are. I don't understand why everyone is so okay with this. With an alien. PhD student, so... Are they here to just learn? Then? Like they're not here uh, as an expert of some sort? Um, that makes no sense. Why would the first alien to land on Earth choose Dubrovnik? Especially now. I have my theories. It is true, I am an alien. Relatively. Relative to what? To you, alien. Which only confirms my theories about the plague. Now is not the time. Who are you? Right, we were told we probably shouldn't tell um, Gabriel about the bad position humanity is in with the, the plague. Maybe you should introduce yourself. Hello, Gabriel. My name is Lisa. I'm a student of microbiology. Hello, student. You seem troubled by my being an alien. Immensely. Blocked. Lisa has blocked Gabriel. Oh, I didn't even look up here. There's a patience meter. So yeah, this whole like meters thing, that's entirely new. That wasn't in subsurface circular. to Gabriel, can I ask you some questions? Um, <laughs> if I say, Officer Tang, how are you doing? They're going to dismiss me immediately. Lisa, I want to hear more about your theories. Of course. I've blocked Gabriel for now. I don't want it getting in my head. What, what do you mean, blocked? Like, like you can't hear them talk anymore, or, or what? You blocked a visitor from a new world sharing with us for the first time. And not permanently, just while I work out whether it's innocent. I don't like either of these people, damn. You think a student? I don't know, I always think of students as being people that are just more curious than anything. But they're an asshole. And Tang Lei's extra, extra asshole. With extra shredded asshole on top. Let me just talk to Gabriel. Um, I shouldn't talk to Tang at all. I'll talk to Gabriel, I need to talk to Gabriel. New objective. Explain the reason for Lisa's distrust to Gabriel. Uh, you may, but first, what's Lisa's grand theory about me? Hmm. Should I talk to Lisa directly, or say, Gabriel, why don't you ask them yourself? Well, I mean, didn't Lisa block them? Whatever that means. And hold on, I can just... Can I just bring these up at any time? I can. Quarantine circle, restraint. She thinks your restraint looks great. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's the theory. <laughs> she thinks plague is bad? <laughs> oh, I love the writing. It's very, um, awkward. 
in a good way. Like, you know, how humans actually are. Where not everything is like a perfect sentence. It's very, very casual. Actually, come to speak of it, my character, Perez, they seem remarkably calm about who they're talking to. Not that they should feel in danger necessarily, but you think they'd be at least, I don't know, bewildered by an alien visiting? Like, is this not the first alien that's visited? If it isn't, then maybe that explains it, I don't know. But if it is, you think it'd be like, wow, alien life, it exists, huh? It's pretty big, wow, hey. Hey, purple eye, buddy. Um... She thinks that life is some kind of big circle. A great wheel. Something about spokes. It sounded deep. Like, really deep. Oh, shit. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Uh, that makes little sense. Oh, I thought Tang would probably throw me out and out test their patience, but they didn't care. Uh, let me go talk to her. Do that. Lisa, can we talk? Shoot. <laughs> Why is there always an option to check in on Tang? I need to check how much I'm irritating Tang. But by doing that, I will irritate Tang. Why block Gabriel? Honestly? I'm scared. Everyone seems incredibly okay with an actual honest-to-goodness alien stood in front of them. And I have my theories. They're keeping Gabriel on a helipad? That's right. Although I guess it's now a quarantine circle, indefinitely. Hmm. So when I said that, Tang's patience bar went down. Does that mean I ha they're getting more patient with me? Or does that mean their patience is getting lower? You see what I mean? That really could go either way. Um, seems really small. best we have for now, and if Gabriel's as dangerous as I think it is, then discomfort is a small price to pay. How dangerous would it be to just remove Gabriel's restraint? Yeah, Tangley's patience just went down again, so I'm pretty sure that's a bad thing, but that means I do have a lot of patience to work with, actually. Uh, massively, I imagine. Tang Lee, Lei, uh, why do you ask, engineer? Um, I'm an engineer. It's my job to think in edge cases. I guess that satisfied him. Uh, tell me about the plague. I've not had an opportunity to ask questions of an expert. I'm a microbiologist. I don't share the big picture awareness of Professor Zima, but I'll try to answer any questions you have. But you're right to want all the information you can get. Millions have died. Doesn't get much more apocalyptic. You think Gabriel's involved somehow? Yes. This plague is profoundly different to anything we've encountered until now. It's incredible. I've been working on the hypothesis that it may be extraterrestrial in origin. Does it really spread as easily as folks say? The plague is waterborne. It gets into the water table of an area, spreads through the population, and then back into the water supply. Like cholera, it's a disease that benefits from flooding, as that removes many sanitary barriers. Just another exciting unforeseen consequence of global warming. Where's the death toll at? I'm 
millions worldwide, and it's accelerating. That doesn't help that the bacterium itself is so damn aggressive. The quantities which must be ingested or made contact with are minuscule, hence the precautions we take. Okay, I think that's enough. Do you really think this plague is alien? Of course. Think about it. Why would an alien bring a laser pistol when they could bring a disease, wipe out enough of the population to weaken us, then waltz in demanding surrender? Gabriel's a scouting party. <laughs> uh, uh, that, okay. That's a not unreasonable hypothesis, supported by absolutely nothing. I don't really like either of these options. I refuse to believe Gabriel's responsible, I guess. More like I just don't know, but I doubt it. That's not a strong argument. You didn't even present an argument. Um, we should talk to Gabriel. Yes. She thinks the plague is of extraterrestrial origin. She believes I brought the plague with me. I am a carrier. She thinks it's intentional. Ah, I'm here to wipe out your species. Too much negativity in human fiction. Sounds like nonsense to me. It is. The Admiral will not be so quick to dismiss it. Can I ask you some questions? No point in asking about the restraint, the circle. Uh, just get right to it, I guess. Are your people behind this plague? No, of course not. The student has blocked me for no reason. She's blinded by a theory. Yeah, the trust in me went down a little bit, but I had to ask. What do you know about this plague? I know it has swept through your society, ravaged entire populations, torn apart families, and hurt infrastructure. I've not been here long, but even on the ground in Dubrovnik, it is obvious your people were nowhere near prepared enough for this. How could we have possibly been more prepared? By creating something more than antibiotics, you discovered them and utterly won the battle with disease. Shortly after, bacteria fought back by evolving resilience. Your antibiotics were bested as quickly as they were invented, but not enough research was done into alternatives. And now a human can die of the slightest bacteria. A super disease was an inevitability. You came a long way to preach at us. I answered a question. So you were captured in Dubrovnik. Yes, Officer Tang's team found me in the center of the city. Yeah, so that's why... That's definitely why Gabriel was saying, You. You. They already know Tang quite well. Why Dubrovnik? I'm only authorized to discuss my mission with high-ranking officials. High-ranking officials? Will you listen to that? Hmm. 
high ranking official high ranking officials uh, like only allowed to discuss it with humans high ranking officials which means they were sent here with the express purpose of getting into contact with us interesting um it's not really a point in asking any of these right i have more questions for lisa maybe all right lisa shoot You like Dubrovnik? That doesn't seem useful. Yeah, that Tang didn't like that. I have no idea. Been on the ship since we got here. Yeah, that was useless. Um, talk to Tang, I guess? You're almost out of time. I mean, I could just see that from the bar up there. Uh... I guess there's really not much more I can do than just do these. Uh, nice circle you have there. You like the color? Absolutely. It goes nicely with my suit. Oh, new focus point, suits. That was worthwhile. Your suit looks pretty heavy duty. Oh, Tang's almost fed up with me. Yes, it contains various life support systems, protections, and exoskeletal strength enhancements. It is a wearable vault. That did not stop Tang and her colleagues from trying to uh, open it up after knocking me out. Multiple new scuffs around the edges. You're lucky we didn't do worse. Oh, threats. Refreshing. Um, how's the restraint feeling? Comfortable? And Tang's done with me. Doesn't matter. It matters to me. Thank you for your help with the adjustments earlier. Enough. You've tested my patience long enough, Mark. Get below deck with everyone else. It was good talking to you, Mark. Lisa, before I go, you have to unblock Gabriel. I'm not going to do that. It is dangerous. You cannot possibly know that, Lisa. My theory is watertight. The plague is resistant to antibiotics, which is a trait it could only have if it had evolved within Earth's ecosystem. Well, it could be designed specifically to sidestep our technology. But you're right that this introduces doubt. Done. Gabriel, I've unblocked you. Thank you, Lisa. You seem very chummy with Gabriel. Is there anything you need to tell me? He said the Admiral has, had arrived, by the way. On the bottom right. Does that go under notes? It does, yeah. Sort of like a log of major events, I guess. Oh, this is like... <laughs> I guess Mark's been making notes this whole time about their experience? Like, I'm done, Tang doesn't, Tang doesn't want me asking any more questions, I'm honestly surprised she let me stay this long. I'm a glorified data entry guy. Got to talk to an actual honest-to-goodness alien. That's amazing. Um... I guess there's no way to see those notices that, like, after they disappear, there's no way to see those notices that pop up. But one of them definitely said the Admiral had arrived. Hmm. I could tell them about the restraint. Um. Okay, yeah, I'll say Gabriel asked me to unlock his restraint before you got here. And I'll say, but I didn't. Wink. Wink. 
Mark, what are you doing? You're joking, right? Oh, what? Hmm. That didn't mean what I thought it meant. Okay, I misread that situation. Uh... Yes? Not funny. Whew. Time to go, Engineer. Admiral's here, and I'm sure he'll want to meet Gabriel before I deal with it. Deal with it? You'll see. Before you go, Perez, I need the activation key you assigned to this translation. I'll need to add the Admiral when he gets here. Is that... I was wondering, like, what's what's my role in this game going to be? I, I don't mean me as the player, I mean, what's Perez's role, the main character's role, in this game? Since they are just a glorified, like, data entry guy, they're just here to set up the translation. Is the entire game going to be me kind of weaseling my way into staying here? Until I become so involved with Gabriel that, like, I have to stay here? Like, they just keep me on because I know Gabriel so well or something? Because if I just walk away, if Perez just walks away, then they're done, right? I mean, they're done done. They set up the translation thing, they have the key to get other people into the translation thing, and then nobody needs them anymore, right? Oh, I was looking for actual uh, numbers, not like spelled out in text, but it's actually the words. One, two, three. So my eyes just kind of skipped over it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seriously? Yep, that's the one. Wow. Fantastic. Get off this deck, engineer. Thank you for your help, Mark. I remember what you did here today. Safe travels. Okay, so I am actually leaving. I don't need to just weasel my way into the conversation constantly, but obviously they're going to bring me back. Number three, triage. 